Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck, and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks. And this week, we're going to be taking a look at some 60 spec Stratocaster pickups. Now, it was only very recently I was talking to Mick Taylor from that pedal show about the inevitable futility of falling down that Stratocaster pickup rabbit hole. Obviously, it's all something somewhere that we've been at some point in time, no doubt. Something that he's very much in the midst of at the moment, trying to make his Blue Strat sound a little bit more like the 61 that he has on loan. Joking with him about that, fast forward a fortnight and I seem to have fallen down the same hole. Anyone who's familiar with Friday Fretworks may well know that late last year I bought a 1962 Stratocaster at auction, albeit the one that needed a little bit of work, but if you've been following the Tone Twins restoration series on that, seeing the incredible work that he was done, needed to say it's emerged out of the other side of that process as a transformed instrument and I would actually have my hands on it now if it wasn't for the lockdown limiting my movement. Now the one thing that's kind of been niggling in the back of my mind to be honest is that the original owner of my Strat had replaced the neck pickup with a 70 Strat pickup. Now this is not a denigrate 70 Strat pickups at all. I haven't really had a chance to play mine yet so I don't know what it sounds like which we'll come on to in a minute but obviously spending so much time on a neck position it would be cool to have an original 60s pickup there. So what we've done basically is move the two original pickups up a position to the bridge and the middle and move the replacement 70 strap pickup down to the bridge. It's also a little bit hotter, so it kind of makes sense in that respect. Now I have a bit of a strange relationship with the bridge pickup. It's kind of that of a love-hate relationship, I guess, in that I don't really spend too much time on it in isolation when I'm doing videos for Friday Fretworks and all that kind of stuff. But watching live footage back, it is a position that I end up on quite a lot, even more so with fuzz and the kind of fewer moments in the set where I'm using higher gain. So finding something that's kind of matched in not only output, but in kind of terms of character and tonality is going to be essential to really maintain in the kind of the feel of this strat. So I thought today's video with nothing better to do in lockdown would be cool to kind of cycle through a, a few of my favorite strat pickups and see if there's anything that really kind of piques my interest. Now, obviously, this may all be in vain. The 70 Strat pickup may sound incredible and may end my tonal hunt for the rest of eternity, although I can't quite see that being the case. So I've taken a guitar which I'm particularly familiar with and fond of in the shape of a Fender Vintera White Blonde Mexican Stratocaster. As I said, it's a great sounding guitar. Pretty familiar with it. And to be honest, the aim of this isn't so much to match the tonality of the 62 Strat. Obviously, this has a maple fingerboard. So much as just using it as a bit of a testing ground to find a set of pickups whose tonality and character I particularly like. In regard to pickups, I'm going to be switching between three sets. First and foremost, I'm going to leave the stock Vintera pickups in there. They're not necessarily spec or period correct, and they are 50s voiced, but it's a great sounding guitar anyway, so I thought it'd be cool to use it as a bit of a benchmark to show you guys what this guitar sounds like first and foremost. Next up, we have a set of Radio Shop Vintage 63s. Now, I'm particularly familiar with and fond of the way these pickups sounds, having had them in my John Mayer Strat for a good number of years. So they're based loosely on a set of 63 Stratocaster pickups, so obviously relevant in that respect and as I said I've always liked the way this sound. Lastly then we have a set of Radio Shop 63 CS case study. What this is in essence is a set of 63 Stratocaster pickups the Radio Shop had access to which they forensically cloned. Every little last reading, detail, magnet size, all that fun stuff forensically cloned to get as close as humanly possible. I've not had a chance to try these yet so I'm really intrigued to see how they fare. Obviously, the glaring omission here, if you're familiar with myself, is my own signature set of Radio Shop pickups. The reason I've left those out is they're not really kind of period correct, I guess. They're a little bit of a deviation away from that. Although it is worth mentioning, I use the Vintage 63s as a bit of a jumping off point to design my own with Radio Shop. 
Obviously, I've got, I've got my own signature pickups in nearly every other Strat that I use, so I'm looking to maintain that kind of pedigree, I guess, of early pre-CBS Stratocaster 60s pickups. In regard to the kind of fairness of the test, I've used a fresh set of Mega Slinkies on each test. So my own dodgy soldering aside, I've set the pickup height to the same within each setup, so uh, I've got as close as I physically can. So uh, let's delve right in. Thank you. 
So, some final thoughts. I mean, I'm not going to say too much here, as I guess part of the fun of these videos is letting you guys come to your own conclusions. And in that respect, please do let me know in the comment box what you've been hearing and what you particularly liked. But I would say a definite special mention of the stock pickups. As I said, it's no surprise, really, I've always liked this guitar. It's no surprise that the pickups really held their own. There's a richness in each position that I found particularly pleasing and really does work with the voicing of this guitar. To be honest, I may well stick the original stock pickups back in the guitar to kind of return it to its original state. Now, in regard to the Radio Shop Vintage 63s, these were arguably my favourite, I guess. As I said, I spent a lot of time with these pickups, so it's no surprise that I like them so much. There's a depth and a clarity in each position, which I particularly like as well as a kind of top-end sort of thing going on, which gives a nice sparkle, which, you know, never gets biting or harsh. And again, is a characteristic or a quality which I associate with a lot of the very good old strats that I've played. Now, intriguingly, it's probably the kind of relic set of 63 CS, which I would say were actually my least favourites, but bizarrely would probably be the set that I would try the bridge picker positioning in my strat first. And the reason for this is there was a kind of an openness that I kind of associate with a lot of the older good strats that I've played. Funnily enough, I was talking to Hugh Price about this recently, and the only way I could kind of articulate what I was kind of really thinking is, you know when you tune a strat down a half a step and you get that kind of cool swampy kind of openness and woodiness? It's something of that quality in a lot of older strats gives you that sound when you're in standard tuning. Bizarrely, again, it's something I really kind of hard, find hard to put into words, so forgive me for waffling on here with vague superlatives, but it's definitely a kind of characteristic I noticed in these pickups. So, again, this is all hypothetical. The 70s pickup may sound amazing in my 62, but there's definitely some kind of tonality kind of thing going on in that set of pickups in the 63 CS, which I found particularly pleasing. Maybe a little bit hotter than I would ordinarily like, so I may get Radio Shop to kind of calm them down in that respect, but I'd be intrigued to see how they fare. As I said, it's all hypothetical at this point anyway. It's just something to kill some time in lockdown. Please do let me know in the comment boxes down below in regard to what you liked. I mean, everyone has different personal kind of opinions and stuff that they gravitate towards, whether it's brighter, whether it's darker. So I'm really intrigued to see what you guys make of this. As ever, I'm Chris Buck. This is Friday Frightworks. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week for another video. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you soon.